Today we're going to be putting in a heater core in a 2002 Jeep Wrangler. It's been leaking for a while, finally bypassed it. Starting to get cold outside, so we're going to go ahead and get this replaced. First thing you're going to want to do is to remove the battery. Go ahead and take your battery out because we're going to have to access. Well, you'll take your heater hoses loose here, which mine are loose because it's been leaking and it's been bypassed for a while. And we'll have to take these AC lines loose and also get to some nuts and bolts back over here later on. But your battery needs to be out uh, so you can discharge your airbag system so there's no accidental deployment. So now we are going to go inside the vehicle and start with pulling the steering column out. First thing we're going to do is to remove these screws on the lower panel under the steering column. One here, then you've got one over here. We'll get both of those out. And then it's clipped in top and the bottom. Just pull it out and there. And we got access to the bottom of the steering column. So we need to go ahead and pull these screws out because all of the plugs are inside of here to remove the steering column. There's one, should be another one. Yep. That one's already gone, somebody's already pulled it out. Let's go ahead and get the key out. And it's kind of clipped together, just pull down on it. You'll have to get around this lever. Just pull that down out of your way, take it off just like that. Now under here, you're gonna see where the wires are plugged up. You've got two off on the side over here. Right there, it's got a safety on it. Pull it back and push down pull that whole thing off All right. and then up here we've got two more to get loose here well, I'm gonna need two hands I'll be right back okay we got that one loose on the uh, yellow one here plugs in right here there's a clip right on top if you'll take a pick or something, just push up on that tab, it'll slide out. This one here, on the bottom side, it'll focus. There's a clip right here, pull it down, it'll slide out of there. All right, moving on. You've got this box here, this wire in it, just push the pin, pull it apart. Okay, and that's everything. On the bottom, just pull these wires loose out of your way. That's actually okay. We've got those unplugged. This one here, it's got a clip on the top side. Just push a tab in there and push there's a little tab, push up, pull it out. This one's got a clip on the bottom side, flip it and pull it out. Uh, then over here on the back of the ignition switch, you've got this one plugged into that box. Okay, now go to the top of the steering column. You got this cover here. Just pull this boot off out of your way, that one out of your way. Screw it right out from the bottom, so take that out of the way. And now, you look down here, you'll have two uh, plugs. This one has got a safety on it. So you want to pop that safety back, push down on that tab, and pull it. And that gets that one off. There should be one more over here on the back of the turn signal switch. See, yep, right there. You push down on it. You should be able to pull it off. You just can't do it with one hand. All right, let me get that off there. Okay, now we got that unplugged. 
we need to take the steering column the rest of the way out. You'll see they've got a bolt here, uh, one here. Also, following the side, you've got one down here, one right here. We're going to take those four out to let the steering column drop down. But before you do that, you should probably go ahead and take out, let's see if we can see it. There's one up underneath the steering column, right there. Just turn your shaft till it turns around where you can get to it and take that one out. And that's where the coupler is going to slide loose to let the steering column come out. So let's go ahead and get those off. After you get that steering column bolts loose, just get it, pull it to, towards you. It'll slide out of the shaft down there. You'll see the shaft sitting right there. It'll slide out, take it, set it out of the way. Make sure you don't rotate your steering wheel when your column's out. It'll break, break the clock spring in the steering wheel. Then you'll have an airbag light on and have more troubles to deal with. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start taking the rest of the bolts out. And get this dash out. Okay, moving on. We're going to pull this cover off. All you do is snap on both sides. Pop it loose. Put it out of your way. All right, and on mine, I went ahead and took this loose. So you got, you've got two bolts back here on top. You've got one, let's, let's see if I can get this. There we go. You got one inside the ashtray. Pull your ashtray out, take that screw out of there. You can take the whole panel off so that you can take this piece, get bolts on both sides, take those out. That way, you some of these you got switches and stuff, and that you need to unplug, unplug those, get them out of your way. And next, we need to go around to the other side. Let's go ahead and get your glove box out. Which let it down, slide the strap out of your way, tilt it down, pull it back. It comes out. All right, inside. You will have some vacuum lines. These are the vacuum lines that control your heat and air condition knobs and uh, vents and things. Um, on each side, you'll see there's a little tab here. Um, you pull that tab out. You slide that right out of there like that. And that's out of your way. Also, unplug your antenna. Just pull it right there. And it's unplugged, and that's out of your way. All right. Now let's start unbolting the dash. You've got this one, this one, one down here. Same thing on the other side, on the driver's side over there. If you look up under here, see those two bolts right in there. Both those have to be unbolted. So take all that loose and we'll work on getting this dash out. Okay, we got all those out. Now you've got to take the ones across the top. 10 millimeter bolts, they're uh, all across the top. Just work your way down and take all those out. I think there's three, four of them all across the top. Okay, we got all those out. All the ones four across the top. Now we gotta get some wires loose. If you look right through where the steering column went, you'll see, let me get in here, you'll see the box. This box right here, unplug the first three plugs. All they've got on each side is little clips. Squeeze them, pull them out. Then if you look over here, you've got one more that's plugged up right up here, right there in that one. It's got a little safety thing on the top of it. Just, you can see it right there. Flip it over, push that button on top, it'll slide out. All right, and you've got a vent tube that runs up to the uh, vents up on the top. You have to pull loose, just pull that off of there, and get it out of your way. Okay, on the passenger side, look through the glove box, and you'll see that wire right there. That's got to come unplugged. Oops. You just got to get up in there and take a screwdriver or something. 
and push that tab in while you pull it out. Pop that off. Got another vent right there it runs up. Slide it off there. Okay, forgot one plug. You probably reach it from the bottom, but if you lay it back after you got it loose, you got one more plug right here, wiring harness. Big green plug. It's got a safety latch on it. Push it over. Push the button down. And it should come off. Let me get off camera and do that. Take. Once you get it out, you've got um, nothing but the heater box. That's There's all heater box. So we got to get it taken out of there. So we can replace the heater core. Um, you need to come out under the hood and you've got to get your Freon out. Um, you really need to take it somewhere to take a recycle machine where they can pull it all out for you. Not, you're not supposed to let it out in the atmosphere. And you've got to have some quick disconnect tools. These are just locks on here help keep it from uh, moving and wearing out the seals. Get those. All right, now in here is you use a quick disconnect tool, which I'll go get that and we'll take that loose and we'll begin taking the heater box itself out. Okay, we got our AC quick disconnect tool. I've already done one side, but we'll show you on this one. What well, is this little plastic thing you buy these at Advanced or any parts stores? Slide it over like that. You'll see right here where that plastic sleeve slides up inside there. Pull it in there until you hear it pop inside there. And grab your AC line. Uh, well, we've got to actually unbolt this one, don't we? Yeah, we got to. We have to unbolt the dryer. So, yep, there's a bolt. Right there, that holds that dryer. So let's take that bolt out because that'll allow us to slide this back and pull it out. Okay, we got that bracket unbolted. Now make sure this is pushed all the way in. And then just pull it back while you wiggle it. You know, you'll see it slide out of there. You pull that off, you'll see how it's separated. Grab hold of it, twist a little more. And It'll come out of there slowly. There it is. Just lay it down right there. Out of the way of everything. Okay, then you've got a vacuum line. It runs in right here. Sets into this T right there. Just pull that vacuum line off. And be careful with it because it's going to go through the firewall with these hoses when you pull that back in there. All right. Now we've got some bolts out here. Uh, there's one. There's one. It's, see if you can see it. It's right down in there. It holds the vent right there. That big piece of plastic runs up through there. Pull that bolt off and get it out of the way. Take that bolt off uh, right there also. Okay, after you get that vent, which you know I had the nut down there at the bottom, after you take that nut off, take that vent off, slide it out of the way, and look back down there, there'll be another nut behind after you pull the vent off. Take it off. Come back over here right below your AC line. You'll have a nut right here. And then if you look down directly below, there's another one right below that. You'll have one right there. It actually holds a bracket. Right here, it's it holds the AC. Take that bracket off and just shut that bracket up out of your way. And that's all the bolts from under the hood. You got all this stuff here loose. You got your vacuum line loose. All right, let's go back inside. Okay, guys, missed one nut out here. If you look where your computer's at, look right below it, you'll see wired out of the way there's another one right there that holds the other side so go ahead and get that off and that should be it for under the hood 
All right, guys, come back inside and look about the center of the box off to the left of your fuse panel. You'll see a bolt. It runs from the bottom side up to the top. Take that bolt out. And that's the only one that holds it inside. Now, I was going to do this without pulling the console. Thought I could get away with it. Not going to work. It's in the way. So we got to pull it out. It's not a big deal. Pull your center cup holder out. You got one bolt right in the dead center of it. And if you go to the rear, depending on what console you got, but if you got the long console, you've got bolts right there in the cup holders. So let's pull those bolts out and get the console up. Out. Okay, get those bolts out. If you got a manual transmission, you got a boot, you grab it from one end, it's got clips, just pop it up out of the hole, get out of the way. And if you'll see, you've got a bolt right here. that up out of the way. Get that one out. And pull the console up out of your way. Okay. Go ahead and take the two screws holding that box. It hits the heater box as it comes out. So knock those two screws out. And that'll make that move where it gets out of your way. Then pull it out. There's your heater box. So we'll get this thing over here on the bench and uh, start tearing it apart until we can replace the heater core. Okay, we're gonna disassemble the heater box. I've already took the screws out and everything, but I'll show you what we have to do. Um, start with, you need to carefully pull this foam loose just from the one side, because that's where it splits, is right between here. So just take the, like the bottom side loose, but just be careful with it, you know, with it torn. Same thing on this side. You'll have a piece of foam that runs all the way around all this. You need to pull all that off, just so you'll be able to separate it. All right. Start right here. You got a bolt here. You got a bolt here. One here. Here. All the way around the outside of this. Here. Back here. You got one that's behind this piece right here. If you look right here, there's a little snap. Just pull that out. And that right there will pull out away so that you can get down here to that bolt. Take it out. Once you get those out, you can separate this. Just put it up out of your way. Okay. And continue on. Uh, behind here will be a bolt. You take it out. Go across the top here. Um, around the back, there's one. One there. One here. And one here. And then they hide one that you see right there, but you actually have to go in under the bottom. It's right up in behind there. You just come in the bottom side and take that out. That's the only one that's in backwards. Once we get all that out, you could just take the top Pull up on it. You get the whole thing. Just set it off out of your way. And there's your heater core. You look down there, you can see where the mines have been leaking. Right down in the bottom, right there. So, I don't believe these are bolted in. You should be able to take this and just hip, slide it out. And you see across the bottom where it's been pouring antifreeze out of it. All right. Put this in the tray and let it run out. And just we'll grab, we've got another one right there. So we'll get this opened up and put it back in. Okay, went ahead and Got it back together. Um, pretty much reverse what you did. Just make sure you get some kind of glue or some kind of adhesive to put this back on with. Because if this doesn't seal back up here, you're not gonna have any air coming out of your vents. Make all your, your all your foam's good. 
Make sure you get all the bolts back in, especially that reverse one on the other side. And I got this piece back on here, glued back on. Just some adhesive. But just make sure everything works. All your doors are in the right place because you definitely don't want to pull it back out. And uh, get your wires and your all your hoses and stuff back where they go. The vacuum lines. And just set it back in the hole. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in. New heater cores in. Everything's back the way it's supposed to be there. All right, we're going to stick it back in the hole. Okay, we've got uh, AC hooked back up. Can you put these back on? Okay, so we got it back together. Um, the AC lines, when you put those back together, there's no tool required. Just push them until they snap. Make sure they snap all the way in. You put those back on there to make sure they don't move around and eat the seals up. Um, there's the new heater core sticking out. Make sure you hook up this vacuum line right here. If you don't hook that up, you won't be changing from defrost to the floor and vents. Uh, so make sure you get all your bolts back in. Those up there and down there, and make sure you put your outside air vent back on there and bolt it on. Um, we got all that in. The uh, box is in. We got the um, fuse box mounted back up where it goes. Got the bolt put back in. It runs from here up into the, this piece here. And uh, everything's back in order, ready to put the dash in. Everything's back in the way it's supposed to be. Got our tube, make sure your defrost tubes are hooked back up on both sides and pointing where they're supposed to be. We're gonna go ahead and set the dash in. All right, got it all back together. We to top off the radiator, which is good. Put new heater hose in there. Might as well do it while you're there. All the dash back together. Not a bad job. Took me about three hours. Good luck.